a nice kid poster right outside of my door. So when the kids are in line, they line up right here on this blue line. They see this poster, they see this door, right with all these quotes on it. I have my schedule that I need to update, my name sign. These are greetings, the students pick one. Um, and we do the action together before they go inside of the room and I greet every single student um, And this year I'm going to try to change this out because I have about um, eight more um, Different greeting options that I'm going to try to incorporate It's my little wreath and then a little sign with a QR code That will pick up a link to my Twitter account so that everyone can see what we are doing in music all right, going in. So I have this chart here, and it um, is where I will write all of the teachers' names in um, these columns here, and then I will keep track of points going across for the whole nine weeks. We are just now doing nine weeks um, for the first time, so it's going to be a little different for us. I skipped over a little bit of my room, but I'll go back to it um, from the door to here um, because I wanted to explain how I keep track of the points. So I use the letters music um, and basically each class, each day they come. Um, I see my kids once a week, uh, K through four, I see a different set of kids every day. Um, and then it just restarts the next week. But they have the opportunity to earn five points on our chart over there every single time they come into class. So if I have to give more than two warnings about a specific thing to the entire class, like the entire class, well, you know, it's hard to say entire class, but if the majority of the class is, say for example, not making good choices, we're doing an activity and it seems like most of the class is making sad choices, I will give um, two warnings for those choices and then after that warning, after those two warnings, I will take a letter away, and they have magnets on the back, and I used, um, I recycled a tissue box and used card, the cardboard from it to make this a little bit more sturdy. This is just paper, and it's laminated, but they've, this has lasted me a year, and we're going on the second year. Um, and then I will put it in this little container, right? So then they see, oh man, you know, we've lost a point, we've lost a letter, which means we've lost a point, and so then if that's all they lost for that day, the rest of the class was, class day was fine then they get four points on our chart and by the end of the nine weeks we total it all up and I have a golden music award for each grade level um, and um, we do an assembly at the end of the nine weeks and um, we announce who has won what awards and they get to hang them out outside of their classroom which is really exciting for them um, I use my little bitmojis for my champs. I'm getting some vinyl numbers made. These don't have batteries in it yet, but um, that's what I'll use for the conversation part. That's the part that I focus on mostly um, in my room, like as, as um, something visual for the kids. Everything else I really explain. I'm going to try to get better about um, really going through each step of the champs. Um, before each activity, but it just takes up so much time a lot of the times, but I'm really gonna try to Get better about it. And then I'm implementing this new thing um, quote of the day. I have this book 365 days of wonder um, If you have not seen the movie or read the original book, please do it. It is so good um, But this book is literally a quote for every single day and it will tell you the day and a quote um, and I'm just gonna use this and um, write the quote on the board um, for the day and I'm gonna try to keep myself accountable I have a little bin here that has um, erasers spray and um, a dry erase marker so that I can I really don't have an excuse not to do it and the book is right here by the board um, okay now I'm gonna go back this way um, we have a little saying last out lights out um, so I covered it up they were like neon green and I made this myself cuz I it's like, I don't really care for that neon green color. So I just made that really quick on Word and changed it. Um, this is where I'm going to have two more of those um, little push lights. I haven't figured out how I'm going to get them up yet. Probably some command strips. Um, but when you put the batteries in those things, they are 
quite heavy and so um, I don't want them falling off during class and causing a distraction so I will figure out how I'm gonna do that and once I do if you're interested in how I do it and how it works um, I'll let you know okay moving on um, these are um, just some rules and they're really not rules they're more of just like things I feel that we should um, strive to do up at the top um, and then if you look at this area this is how my kids ask questions it has been a game changer for me it's really saved so much time um, and I really really work on this with K1 um, and once they get used to it it's awesome and I've been using this since my first year this isn't go I'm going into my third year and it has been just very very helpful so um, instead of raising their hand every single time they need um, something they have specific signs that they will do for each thing to get my attention so that I don't have to stop class to hear their question they literally will just show me um, with their fingers what they need and I will um, you know just say yes or no and we will just move on from there so they're only raising their hand fully if they have an actual question or comment pertaining to whatever it is that we're doing then I have my little keyboard. Um, we don't use it much. A lot of the kids, if they're taking lessons, they like to um, show off, you know, what they what they're learning or songs that they've done. Um, I use it to let the kids play the pentatonic scale when we're talking about that. But other than that, um, unless I'm doing warm ups for choir or something like that, I really don't use it. Um, these are um, new bins for me. Um, I was trying to make things easier for myself. Um, some things I need easier access to and so hopefully this will be really beneficial for me and my kids and save some of our class time for me, you know, trying to search for things. Um, so the first drawer, and I just numbered them because I didn't want to put actual labels because I might end up changing some things around. So um, I'm going to put a little list on my desk of um, what's in each drawer at the, at the time just so that I know which drawer to look in. Um, right now, obviously, I know what it is because I just did it, but as the year goes, if I decide to change things, then I can just refer back to my list. So the first drawer has some music go-rounds. I definitely plan on getting more of these. These are super cool. Um, I got them literally like the last week of school last year. Shipping kind of took um, a while, so I didn't get to use them yet, but I'm super excited. If you don't know what they are, they are literally, oh my gosh, I got stuck. They're literally these little silicone, um, I guess silicone is the right word, um, but they stick on your whiteboard and so you know if you're wanting to have your kids come up and compose um, a rhythm you could literally stick all of the or a good amount of the rounds to the board and they can compose their own rhythms and um, there are hearts as well so you can use a big heart for the first beat you know as it being the strong beat and then the little hearts for the weak beats I think these are really awesome and they have tons of different options so um, if you or a music teacher and you haven't seen these before I would highly recommend you check them out I think they're awesome and I'm so excited to use them my second drawer is gonna have puppets um, which I started using puppets um, quite a bit last year but I didn't have a lot so I just used like these three mostly um, and the kids loved them so I was like I guess I need to um, get some more puppets um, you know for read alouds or just anything vocal expiration um, I thought these would be really sweet for um, you know using um, with the kinder babies um, they fit on adult fingers but I thought these would be really fun to use with the littles um, and get their little imaginations going this drawer has stickers because the first few weeks of school, I go through tons of stickers with my littles for, you know, following instructions, participating, especially if they were shy or nervous to do something. I love handing out stickers. It just makes them feel really good. Um, I know I'm going to be using these a lot. I have a few activities um, that I will be um using these unifix cubes for so um, if you're interested in any of those activities let me know and I would be happy to send them to you but I, I needed them to be convenient so that I could have them right on hand and then this last drawer I haven't really figured out what I'm gonna do with it yet because I haven't finished the projects um, that that I want to use these for and I'm still searching for more of these little spinny things actually um, and then I need to finish um, a few more sets of these cubes for composition as well um, okay 
I need to change this poster because um, my name is not Miss Curtner anymore. It's Mrs. Lockett because I got married. Um, but I came up with this acronym my first year. Um, and it's for, with the word sure, like, you know, you sure are an awesome musician. And these are the ways to, you know, accomplish that, right? Um, so super simple. Um, I just came up with it. Um, I have my little multicultural um, hand signs here. I use these a lot. Um, I basically just printed them out. I made them fit a sheet of paper, just like a normal sheet of paper. And then I laminated them and they're on cardstock. Um, and then I stapled um, a magnet to the back and um, they work really well. Then I have my keyboard up here which the kids love, pointing out that the boom whacker matches the keyboard. Um, then I have my composer corner here. This is where I put all of my composer of the month information. Um, as of right now, I just have two pages up on Beethoven because I haven't figured out what other pages I wanna put up, but he's gonna be our first composer of the month. This school year, um, here are some quotes about being kind that's a that's something that sometimes our littles can struggle with um, and adults <laughs> so I thought it was good to have some um, kindness quotes this is where I put my objectives so I will write our we will statements on these pages there um, it's a normal sheet of paper on top of um, scrapbook paper and then I laminated them so that I could write on them with dry erase marker and then I'll put um, the printed teaks down here for each grade level. Um, here is my Boom Whacker Central. Really not a big deal. Um, these are rubber made trash can bins and then I just made the label, use the same labels that I used for um, the piano keys and I made those myself. It was really, really easy. Um, and then I came up with these rules on my own. Um, they remember them, they know them, and if they don't follow those rules, I will take the instrument away immediately. <laughs> um, this is just kind of like, honestly, like a cheat sheet area. Um, sometimes, you know, when we're working on different, different things on the board, um, you can tell students really want to answer questions, but maybe they kind of, you know, get a brain fart and they just don't, they don't remember what they're going to say. And so it's a, it's good to have a spot for them to reference just so they don't feel embarrassed. Um, if they're really excited about answering something and then they just, it kind of slips their mind. Um, this is my flexible seating. I feel like I'm saying, um, so much, but I'm just really trying to get my thoughts together. This is my flexible seating area. Um, I don't call it flexible seating in here. I call it special spots and I have the students decorate a name card. Basically it's just a note card where they write their name and then um, they decorate it. I give them time to do that, um, like the first week of school. Um, and then I hole punch all of them and put them on a key ring and so it'll be separated by class. Then each time that, and grade level, and each time um, that class comes in, I will pick five students to um, be able to choose a special spot to grab. Um, the bean bag over there is one of them. Um, and then they will just set their special spot behind the rug and they will get to sit there for um, class unless we're doing an activity where they're standing and they'll just stand in front of their spot. Um, this is um, two bins. This is a bin of pillows. Um, we use these a lot like during circle time. It gives them something to hold. It's something tangible. So if they're feeling nervous, they hold the pencil, they hold the pencil, the whatever. It just, sometimes it helps with kids that are nervous. Um, these are beat buddies, basically little stuffed animals that I use a lot with the littles. Um, they can have the stuffed animal keep the steady beat to a song with their head or their arm or their leg, um, their hand on their tummy. It just depends on what they want to do. I don't choose for them. I let them kind of have creative control over that. I feel like I totally just skipped this. This is my musical time periods wall. Um, these posters were very old <laughs> And so, um, and they really didn't go with my theme, so I put this um, border around it. 
I made these myself, made these myself, just to kind of jazz them up a little bit. And um, we refer to these a lot during class, especially with my older kids. Um, they really like to figure out what time period a composer is from and how it makes their music sound different. So I really enjoy being able to um, work, work with uh, the time periods on them because they really, really like it. This is kind of more my area. The kids really don't go into this. This is for recorder karate. I think I'm gonna start it earlier this year. So all the songs are in here. The kids will go in here and grab their song once they go sign. Um, I don't do belts, I sign posters out in the hallway. If you're interested in what that looks like, how that's set up, let me know. It's not set up right now because it's not time for recorded karate, but I just leave this here. These are my binders, my choir stuff, my sub tub stuff, my seating chart, Bible floors, just all kind of information. And I need to change these labels. They've been like this since my first year. I'm going to make cute ones um, that fit my theme, but I just didn't have time and I really don't care right now, <laughs> to be honest. These are things that we use so often that I had to have them very close to the front of the room so that it's easy, easily accessible for myself. We use rhythm sticks so much, we use ribbons so much, and we use bean bags all the time. So it's just kind of a necessity for them to be able to be grabbed very quickly. This is something that I'm trying um, that's new this year. I'm trying an actual music library because I have quite a few books over there that I use for read alouds. Um, I read a book every single day to each class. Um, so a lot of times these books were mixed in over there with the other ones and I would have kids that would want to read these more complicated books and they would say can I borrow that or can I take that and then as you would know it some of my books would never come back. Um, some of the kids are good about bringing them back but you know how that can be so I made a sheet that has all of the book names um, I made it editable because I'm sure this will end up growing um, so that it has the book title it has the date that it's been checked out and then um, the student's name that has checked it out and I will keep that and I will be the one to document it and then I will just put a line through that little part when the book is returned and then um, I will print out a new sheet so I'm excited to see how that goes Here's my little rocking chair. This is where I will read my little read alouds um, every day. Um, this is my spot. So this is my space right here. Um, my computer, my phone, just things that I love. Cause you have to have your own kind of space in your room to make it feel good for you as well. I love plants, so of course there's plants. I love radon, so of course there's radon. Um, I really love the Be the Nice Kid quote, so of course that's there. Um, just kind of stuff that, that I love. A student made me that, <laughs> so I kept that. Um, my trash can is full, don't judge. Um, so this is my filing cabinet, obviously, and I just made these labels, again, out of regular printer paper, and then, um, 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 with <laughs> um, scrapbook paper. On the back, I'm not gonna open this extra materials drawer because it is a hot diggity dog mess. Um, but the next drawer is composer of the month and other activities. So I have this by, um, the front is different composer time periods. And so I have my composer of the month things there. They're already printed out and ready to go. Of course I continue to add and purchase more composer of the month files um, then I have this separated by activity so oh gosh okay so there's you know listening activities multicultural activities song form symbol activities seasonal just you know pretty much anything that you could think of um, to have an activity for there in here and so then depending on what I'm working on with my classes I will just go and grab different activities that I think will work and if I like them then I will add them into my lesson plan and if not then they just go back in the file and it's as simple as that this is my first aid drawer it's pretty self-explanatory I'm not gonna open it it's first aid for me painkillers things like that um, icy hot just anything vitamins emergency 
throat spray, all that kind of stuff for myself. And then I also have um, band-aids, nurses passes, and things like that for the kids. Um, and then the bottom drawer, the my stuff drawer, is where I put my backpack and my purse so that it is out of the way. Um, under my desk, I have this bin that is like the other bins that are under that table, but these are things that um, I will be using often, but that they need to be hidden <laughs> from the kids because if not, they're gonna wanna use them, so they are hidden. This is my uh, calm down, cheer up spot. I still have a few more things that I wanna do to this. I need to add a pillow. Um, but basically, if a kid is having a rough day, um, which happens every, we're as adults, we have rough days. And so, you know, you have to understand when a child is having a rough day. Um, they can come sit over here in this chair and I have dry erase markers in here. I usually have more, I just added those. Um, they're new, because they get dried out this gets a lot of action um, and they can circle how they're feeling um, and I usually have fidgets and things like that in here as well but there's nothing in there right now but that's what this other tray is for um, so that they can calm down and kind of get their thoughts together and collect themselves but they circle how they're feeling and then once I get the class started on something and I have a second to come chat with the kid I'll come over here and I usually kneel right here so that we are at the same level and I talk to them about how they're feeling and how we can fix it um, and then I ask them if they're ready to join the rest of the class and then they get started on the assignment and if they're not sometimes they're not ready after you know five minutes they need a little bit more time I let them sit over there and I say you can join whenever you feel like you're ready you know so there's that um this is just some cute little border and fans and whatnot um I love this little section it says mirror mirror on the wall there's a musician and us all and then there are a variety of different musicians and then of course a mirror so when they look at it they know that they are musicians and can be great just like anybody else um these are my little flip form risers so when we're practicing for performances before we go into the cafetorium where our big risers are we practice on these we practice how to stand on them uh, to keep your hands to yourself and not touch your neighbors, right? But just something that we all <laughs> have to work on. This is my ukulele wall. Um, I had three ukulele hooks that decided that they did not want to be in the wall anymore. So I'm going to have to fix those and hang up the three ukuleles that are missing. They are currently in the closet, but this is just where I keep them and it's really easy. I call by color in my room for everything so i'll say red go get your ukulele or red go get your boom whacker or whatever it is that we're working on and then that's also how i line up kids as well um this is the birthday gong right now it doesn't have my happy birthday stuff on it because the uh, one that I had for the past two years got very, very run down, as you can imagine. Every um, time a child has a birthday and they remember to tell me that it's their birthday week, they get to hit the birthday gong at the end of class. So it got a lot of action. And it's also hiding this huge pile of books and things that I'm trying to <clears throat> relocate. This is my You Matter area. Um, Behind those two doors is my storage area, um, and I felt like it just needed to be spruced up a little bit. I'm trying to think of other quotes that could go at the bottom of the door, or maybe some sort of picture that I can turn into a poster and cut out and have like a really big picture on both sides. I don't know yet, um, but these quotes are just, you know, about, you know, how kids should feel special and talented and smart and accepted and all of those good things and of course it had to be more of course it had to be multicultural as well okay Whew. this is a lot um these are i say these as in this and this are my little bookshelves that have things that we use quite a bit pencils colored pencils because we use those a lot crayons markers scissors dry erase markers um, and then these are um, parachutes and stretchy bands and things that we will use this is my treasure chest it is lovely and full right now thanks to everyone that bought things off of my Amazon wish list thank you guys so much um, this is recorder central 
It has a paper towel in the bottom because I take these home and wash them every single evening when we start recording in third grade because 9.9 .9 times out of 10, you're gonna have a kid come in and they have forgotten their recorder and I don't like kids to feel left out. So I wash them by themselves in the dishwasher with um, no detergent, just the really, really hot, or soap, whatever. Just really, really hot water and steam. Um, yes. And then here is my Soulfish spot. A lot of times the kids will forget some of the Soulfish names. Like I said, I really don't like any kind of like gotcha or you know having a child feel embarrassed because they want to answer a question and at that moment they don't have the tools to do that one of those fans is falling oh that's gonna bother me but yes yeah, so this is here just for help um this is my little shout out area where i'm going to print and put up pictures of um from performances that we do um grade level performances and our um wrangler corral which is our choir performances so i'm really excited about that um this is my little book area and i decided to put some growth mindset quotes around this area as well this is where the kids stand in line at the end of class they each stand on a dot two feet on a dot so at the end of class i mean this is where they're looking you know so i thought it would be good to have that there and then of course i have all my books organized so that it's easier for me to pick things fingers crossed that it stays this way through the whole year and um, this is my instrument family area it is very very minimal because the activities that i do like we don't really even need this it's up there just to be up there <laughs> um we do a lot with instrument family so this is just a reference so that they can kind of catch a glimpse of oh i forgot what a brass instrument looks like okay let me look over there and then immediately they will be reminded you use hand drums a ton clipboards a ton dry erase staffs a ton and handheld percussion a ton I'm probably gonna add another plant here. This is a fake one, but I like it in there. So but I'm probably gonna put another plant here. I printed these out for a program last year. There's me, um, a fourth grade program. And uh, this was part of the decoration and um, a PTA mom helped me take them down so that I could reuse them. So each month I'm gonna put a new um, quote in there and it's black and white like my room. So I thought it was really, really cute. And then this is a speaker that's of course red like the rest of my room that I use when kids are doing stations and I don't want the music to be too loud because I have speakers up there but they get really, really loud and it's hard for me to control how loud or soft it is. So this helps me a lot and I can control it from my phone instead of having to walk over to my computer. So I'm basically almost finished um, but I wanted to talk quickly about my corners. So I have A that has whisper, a quarter note, and major. I have B over here that has talk, quarter rest, minor. I have C that has shout and a half note, and then another last that lights out. And then I have D that has sing and then a set of eighth notes. So I do um, quizzes. I hate to even call it a quiz, but I do quizzes as like a check-in with my kids. And so instead of them having to do like a finger sign or something like that um, when we're doing a quiz, I let them roam around. So I'll give them like 10 seconds after reading a question for them um, that I display on my, on my screen. I'll read it for them, read the answer choices, and I'd read the answer choices twice, and then I start counting down from 10, and I have 10 seconds to pick their corner. So it's really good for me to see who's just following someone, right, to, to find the right answer, who actually knows, because they're usually the first people there, um, and then who is honestly probably just being silly, because a lot of the question um, answers are silly. I try to throw a silly one in. Um, so we do that and then with littles when we're working on whisper, talk, shout, and sing, we use these corners as well. I have different clips of um, different sounds and they will pick whether they think it's a whisper, talk, 
shout, or sing. I also use the corners A, ooh, dizzy. I also use the corners A and B quite a lot with the littles when we're doing um, fast versus slow, loud versus soft, beat versus no beat, and they love it. I have kindergarten, kinder, kindergartners now that um, literally at Meet the Teacher Night last night, we're like, are we gonna play beat versus no beat this year as first graders? So um, that's really cute. And then there's a game that goes with the um, quarter note, the actual note cards. Um, that I use with the older kids and then major and minor I use with third and fourth grade so um, that's pretty much it um, if you have any questions about anything that I didn't touch on I hope I touched on everything um, but if you have any questions about anything or you want like specific activities that I talked about or specific files that I talked about like I have um, these file I have that file I have those files I have this um, I have that, I have um, all of the quotes. I believe I have all of these quotes and things. Um, and if I can't send you the, the file directly because I purchased it and didn't make it, then I will at least give you the link um, to that file. So there it is. I hope that helps people that were actually interested in seeing my room um it's really nothing crazy but um, i'm sure i'll change some things and rearrange them. no i'm not rearranging anything i scratch that i just might change some things like those drawers and oh i forgot to talk about this locomotive and non-locomotive but that's really not for anybody else but me because honestly i tend to forget like what motions we can do for what so that is more for me than anybody else <laughs> but um yes that's it hope you enjoy this little kind of long video um again if you have any questions just let me know i feel like my attempted outro with out my face in it super awkward and that is not <laughs> <laughs> what I want super awkward and super rambly so just just bear with me um, but really um, if you have any questions at all just let me know if you want anything that I made let me know I'm happy to help in any way that I can so yeah and I hope everybody has a great first week of school I'm so excited to see my babies so, yep, thanks for watching.